Good afternoon, True Chakra Tarot Talk. Today we're going to be doing a requested reading that I've had for a while on um, Dulce Alvarez. Is that, um, I believe how you pronounce it. It is spelt two different ways when you look it up in articles, but I'm going to go with Alvarez because that is the one I've seen the most. Like I said, so she was uh, basically last seen on September 16th of 2019. But she wasn't reported missing, to my understanding, until September 19th of 2019. So about three days. So she was, again, she was born on April 25th of 2014. That made her a Torres, like I said. And um, she, I want to say they, she was from Bridgeton, New Jersey. So she was five years old when she was last seen. Her mother was a Noma, I believe is how you would pronounce it. Um, or Noema of Alvarez Perez, and she told the police she was sitting by um, the park, which was Bridgeton City Park, with a younger relative nearby in a car, and while the kids played at the park, her and her younger brother. She said later on her that the younger brother came back to the car, but uh, Dulce did not. So, um, whenever her, like I said, whenever you know that happened, they like said she. To my knowledge, did not call the police, but that is what the, the statement the police made. So there was numerous online groups that had been uh, created to bring awareness, including private Facebook groups, which I thought was kind of odd. Because if you want to get as much information out there as possible, you would probably not want it to be a private group. But then again, I mean, it could just be privacy issues amongst the family. So again, I don't want to judge either way. So either way, but um, from what I understand, the name is Dulce uh, Marie Alvarez, and it's Community Search and Support Group. So the bridge, uh, the FBI, Bridgeton Police, and um, Cumberland Police County Prosecutor's Office have been working to locate her ever since she went was reported missing on September 9th of 2019. So the reward stands at seventy five thousand dollars for any information leading to her whereabouts. So if you could please call eight five six four five one zero zero three three at Bridgeton Police Department. Again, it's 856-451-0033. And that is the Bridgeton Police Department. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and put down a few waters to go ahead and break any um things that we might need to break as far as any information, things like that that we wanna know. So I wanna thank y'all for clicking on the video. Like I said, I know it's been a little while since y'all requested this video and I do apologize for me taking a while to get to it, but um, I figured right now with some of the other stuff going on until we get some more information as far as like the Naya um, Rivera information and things like that that's going on as well, um, you know, this is a good time to kind of pick up some extra cases that were requested. So I'm going to spray a good luck spray so that we can maybe get some more information on what happened and then also Paula Santos so that we could just bring in some positive energy. It is uh, water. So, and then we're going to also spray the Tornado Alley to make sure that anything that has not been told will be uncrossed and told during this reading. So, um, what I'm basically going to use for her reading is going to be the Lisa Robertson Mermaid Tarot because obviously she's a young girl. And then I'm also going to use the, um, the, uh, let me make sure y'all don't fall over there. Okay, and then I'm also going to use the Alice in Wonderland again because it is a uh, by Barbara Moore, so there's always a little bit of a darker spin to it if there was if that situation was going on. So then we're going to use the Osha's and Tarot too, as well as the um, John Holland Psychic Tarot, um, or Oracle or the Psychic Tarot Oracle deck by John Holland, and then um, we're just going to use Angel Answers too, just to get a few answers, see what she has to say. So we're going to go ahead and ask her if she can come in with her spirit guides. So we're going to ask for Dulce to come in with her spirit guides. My spirit guides, Archangel Raphael, Archangel Michael, and Archangel Gabriel. And Archangel Shamuel for the lost and the children. So we're going to ask her to come in and let us know what happened the day that she was last seen on September 16th. Does her mother know anything more than what she is telling us? Does she know the person who took her and what was happening the day that she was at the park? So I would ask her where she is now and how she feels now. So, again, this is going to be for Dulce, uh, Dulce Alvarez. And I'm going to say Alvarez because that is the name that I found the most in the articles. Like I said, it was spelt two different ways. So, um, let me it one more time. We go ahead and get started. So, we're going to ask her what was going on in the days, weeks, and months leading up to her going dis like disappearance. She said there was um, a type of nine of swords energy going on. So, basically, this is of swords of the thought. So, if somebody was losing sleep 
um, were having anxiety, depression, weren't able to maybe move forward in a situation. They were being held down mentally by some type of uh, mental weight. So, let's go ahead and see what happened the day that she disappeared. She is saying that she disappeared. Somebody felt the Ten of Pentacles. So whoever this person might have been that took her felt that they were abundant and they fulfilled their Ten of Pentacles dream or somebody that wanted to maybe not have her around maybe felt that they fulfilled the Ten of Pentacles by maybe having her happen to vanish that day. <clears throat> Currently, she's saying she still is in the Page of Pentacles energy, so she still is very much childlike. And um, she is very happy where she is. She is with the fairies and she is um, in the 5D um, is what she is saying. So with the uh, Nine of Swords here, we have the Eight of Wands in reverse for the weeks, days, and months leading up, which means there was no communication coming in. And if it was coming in, it was very harsh and blunt because of the anxiety and the depression and the insomnia. So somebody was very um, upset, Leo, uh, or not Leo, uh, yeah, Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries. Those are the signs. For the Eight of Wands in Rivers. So let's go ahead and see. Like I said, we got Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries, and then Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn so far. And she is a Taurus. So she is here twice now. And she is here actually for the uh, Page of Pentacles card. So for the Ten of um or the Ten of Pentacles, which is also her card, is the Strength card in Reverse. So she said the day that she disappeared, she lost her strength. And I think she felt a little bit betrayed by losing her strength. I don't think her mom was paying attention as much as she should have. And I'm going to be honest about that. Um, with the nine of wands, she feels that she's been beaten and battered. So in the past, like as far as the way it went down, not so much that she was literally beaten nor battered, but like she just was emotionally over it because this is a uh, fire signs, Leo, Ag Leo, Sagittarius and Aries, and they carry um, actions, but a lot of times actions carry emotions. So they're saying uh, she's very much over those emotions and she's very much happy where she is. So let's go ahead and see why the Eight of Wands is in reverse. We got two cards. She is saying that there is a Five of Wands energy that came in. I know it was her mother, her mother and a relative, and then the two of them. And then she is saying that a fifth person came in and it basically took her child, which took her abundance. And, um, but it is not her sign. So again, that doesn't really make much of a difference, but that is what she is saying happened the day leading up to her going missing. So let's go ahead and see why strength is in reverse, but the Ten of Cup or the Ten of Pentacles is upright. Because the Seven of Wands in reverse. So finally somebody felt like they were trying to defend a certain situation, or maybe they were trying to keep themselves from behaving a certain way, but they finally gave in and did it. Because you again, you have a lot of fire here now. You have a lot of um one, two, three, four. So you have pretty much four fire signs here on the board so far. Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. And there is a male energy. And so with now how she feels now, she feels that she no longer has the Ace of Pentacles within the earthly realm because this person took it from her. And they did. So um, let's go ahead and see how she is feeling with the Alice in Wonderland deck. Again, I want to thank y'all for clicking on the video. I hope it gives y'all some clarity. So if y'all have any questions or comments, you would be more than welcome to leave them in the comment section. If there is anything that I left out, as I looked up an article from about uh, February that was updated, and that is the last that I had uh, was given, was able to find any information really on it. So we have the Nine of Swords here for the days, weeks, and months leading up to her going missing. Why is that? Because you have the Three of Pentacles in reverse and the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. So this is her sign, both of them. She's um, a Taurus. So this is Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, and they're both reverse. So she is saying um, with the Three of Pentacles, basically people were not working together to make this anxious um, this anxious state come out. They weren't trying to flip this around, the Nine of Swords. They were, they were feeling sorry for themselves and kind of blaming it on, on her. Like it was kind of like... Um, like she wasn't making it run as well old for her and maybe her brother and the mother she should have. So, um, maybe with the nine of pentacles tier two, like I said, um, this is going to be in reverse. So this is losing your independence and your freedom. And that's what kind of would have happened the day if that is what happened, you know, when they were planning it, they were planning on taking her independence because again, she is an earth sign. So why is the eight of wands here? 
because of the King of Wands in reverse. So, um, well, the Eight of Wands in reverse is here because the communication is coming a little bit more harsh. And it's because the person who is bringing it in is also a Leo um, Sagittarius Aries. More fire again. And um, so that is definitely something I would, I would pay attention to. There's a lot of fire elements here. And then again, she's showing up a lot in her own reading. So let's go ahead and see why um, the Ten of Pentacles is here for how the person felt the day they did it. So they basically came up to her and offered her something. So yeah, somebody kind of did lure her away. They, they gave her um, a immature childlike offer because the page does represent children too. And it represents her sign, Taurus. So let's see why she felt strength in reverse after that. It's because it broke her heart. She had three cards come out, so we'll just let them come out. She had the three of swords. It broke her heart once uh, she kind of followed their lead. And then with the nine of wands... She was uh, soon, I don't think that it lasted very long, the situation, and she felt uh, the Five of Pentacles immediately, which is out in the cold. So that is her sign again, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Yeah. So she's showing up again for herself the day that she disappeared. Why are the Seven of Wands here in reverse for the day that she disappeared? Why would it be in reverse? Why would somebody feel relieved? Because they felt bound by her in a way. It's like, I don't know if this person was obsessed with her. Because she is a little girl here. I mean, it's Alice in Wonderland. So as you can see, they have all, it's like complete ha like havoc. Like I said, there's cards flying everywhere. There's swords. There's all kinds of stuff. So there's there's things that um, are not being addressed that need to be addressed. So why is the Page of Pentacles here? Because of the magician. So the, she's saying the uh, Page of Pentacles came towards her. And that's what she is getting across now. But she is saying whenever the magician energy well, the Page of Pentacles, you know, is her. But when she's saying when they're coming towards her, they're coming towards her in the Magician energy in reverse. When you look at it this way, like I said, you can see all the, the Pentacles and the, the the cups and the swords and the whatever. But when you look at it this way, it looks a little bit creepy and ghost-like, like Ghostbusters. So she's saying they kind of really didn't present themselves to her the way that they did immediately. So why is the Nine of, Swords, or Nine of Wands in reverse? Because of the Queen of Wands in reverse. I feel like she feels like this is kind of like her mother a little bit for not paying attention or not paying better attention. So she feels a little bit upset with her mother's actions by sitting in the car and not watching her and her brother. Why are the Ten of Pentacles here in reverse? Or why is the Ace of Pentacles here in reverse? Because of the Two of Wands. So basically, yeah, she's saying her mother could have made a choice to get out of the car and watch them and act upon, you know, being with them or to sit in the car with her friend, like with her family member, which would be the two of them. And um, not watch them. And that's kind of unfortunately the choice that she made. So let's go ahead and see what she wants to give us with the um, Psychic Oracle by John Holland. See if she can give us any foundations that she might be around. So we're going to get a few foundation cards, oracle cards. That one automatically popped out. Do a couple more. All right. So that is three. So basically, um, trapped in fear. So she is saying she was trapped in fear when the situation happened. And then she is also saying that she is having to have new beginnings where she is. And that uh, soon she will have fulfillment of all the wishes that she dream ever has ever dreamt of. So she is, that is the information that she wants to get across to not only her family, but her friends. So let's go ahead and do the angel answers and see if you can give us anything there. We're going to ask her if her mother um, basically knew anything about it. Was it a stranger and how she feels now? She's saying to get more information and communicate clearly. So that is something that she wants people to know. That if you communicate more clearly, I think with the mother, that maybe you might get better answers. And she is saying to be more assertive 
within the next few weeks because that holds the key as well. As I said, now it's kind of like a mask, so you can take it as a mask or key, but either way, like I said, it is basically holding the answer to what has happened. So let's go ahead and do the Osho Zentera for her and see what she has to say. So, and again, I want to thank y'all for clicking on the video. I hope y'all uh, gave y'all some clarity. Like I said, if y'all have any questions or comments, you can leave them in the comment section. Or um, I said, and I do do private readings if you're interested in that. I also do teach uh, tarot card classes. And that is all in my about section under my Patreon um, link. So, and then like I said, I do, and I think I said I do private readings already. So, we're going to go ahead if you're interested in that. So, we're going to go ahead and um, pull a few Zen cards to see how she wants us to feel. So, that's three. And we also do readings like this in a lot of time. So, if, you, if, um, if you're like are enjoying the reading if you hit the subscribe bar and the notification bell it will let you know when we do readings like this in live time and you can ask questions or um if you want to just do uh i sometimes i run specials on general readings so basically somebody was being lazy which i feel like she was saying the mother the mother's being lazy in the car she didn't get out and it's almost like their existence didn't matter because of of you know she felt like sitting in the car and she was and he she was saying by that happening her adventure in this world ended so i'm not saying she's mad at the mother but what i'm saying is that she is very much saying i was going to use the mother but i'm not going to because she doesn't want to so we're going to ask her a couple questions all right dulce we do we want to ask you if you're here with your spirit guides okay so I was going to ask you if um, your mother had checked on you while you were at the park. No. So her mother never did get out of the car and check on her. So that's the issue. Um, that's why she took so long to say anything about it. Because she knew she should have checked. Um, do you know the person who took you? No. So we're going to stop there. Um, I'm going to ask her, um, hold on, one more question. Will we find any more information out within the next six months to a year about your disappearance? Yes. So she is saying we will find something out. So we're going to go ahead and do this thing and for her. I want to thank her for coming in with her spirit guides to give us some clarity. On what happened with the situation. All right, that's going to be the singing bowl for Dulce Alvarez. So, like I said, um, I want to thank y'all for clicking on the video. I hope, like I said, I hope it gave y'all some clarity. Um, again, she went missing, what well, was last seen on September 16th of 2019, but was reported missing on September 19th. They did have some private Facebook groups to try to help find her, but the FBI, Bridgeton um, Police Department, and the Cumberland County Prosecutor's Office have been working to locate her, and the reward stands at $75,000. They would like it if you could please call 856-451. 0033 with the Bridgeton Police Department if you have any information. Again, her date of birth is April uh, 25th of 2014. She was five years old and she is a, uh, that makes her a Torres. So, um, and this was in Bridgeton, New Jersey. So again, I want to thank y'all for the request. I um, hope it gave y'all some clarity and I will talk to y'all soon.